And so I'll say hello to everyone once again. And um, so gathering props together, we're gonna begin in a seat. So, you know, if you've gathered your props together, just have them spread around um, and then finding a, a comfortable seat. But have a, a large bed pillow. Um, if you have a bolster, you might, uh, you might wanna grab a bolster. You have um, a couch cushion. We all may have a couch cushion. Some of them are, are more firm than others. <laughs> Depends where you sit a lot. Um, but having a couch cushion will will have some opportunity to utilize that. Uh, blankets, one blanket to cover up with, and um, two or three blankets that you can fold up and utilize. And uh, so you can just kind of have your things spread around. Maybe you have an aromatherapy that uh, it doesn't have to be an essential oil. It can be any smell. Maybe it's a lotion or or something like that that has a scent that really offers you a sense of peace and ease. And then an eye pillow, something to place over your eyes when we come into um, a couple of these relaxed postures. You can have those things off to the side. And I'm gonna hit uh, my music now and we'll get started. And we're gonna begin in a seat. So you can kind of take some of your props and just place them off to the side. And then maybe taking a blanket, one of your folding blankets and folding it up so that you can make a little bit of height and get, get yourself a little bit of height underneath of your, your hips. Um, you might even like more height and you can have that as well to find a seat that feels relatively comfortable. And you can move around a little bit in your seat. You know, moving around, kind of coming into your your space. Oh, taking a few deep breaths. You can even find a sigh on an exhalation. In fact, that's one of the nice things about a practice over Zoom as it's in your own home and you're able to feel free to sigh, to make different noises. You have props around you that that you're familiar with, blankets that you know, pillow that you know. So it offers you this sense of safety. And as you practice, as you take time for yourself, in this space that you're you're nurturing it encourages you to do it again and again even without any instruction bring your hands together and rub them get them nice and warm as you find a tall spine and maybe you soften your eyes And place one hand over your heart and the other on your abdomen, wherever it feels comfortable. And just sort of move your hands a little bit on your body, making a connection with your hands and, and your body. And uh, feel your breath. Checking in with yourself, just as you would check in with a dear friend. Feel the beat of your heart. And feel the gentle pressure of your hands meeting your breath. And as you breathe, each inhale creates a little more space. 
And each exhale allows you to soften just a little more and to relax a little more. Throughout this practice, I'm holding space for you. I'm keeping track of the time and there's nothing you have to worry about. You have set this time aside for your practice. Your task is to enjoy, to relax and to receive the benefits, to receive the gift of this time you've set aside for yourself. Find a smile and offer yourself kindness and love and gratitude for this time you've set aside to nurture and nourish your being. Take a big inhale and sigh it out. <sighs> and bring your hands to your legs. It'll make some circles with the waist. And these slow circles, getting into your hips and your low back. Feeling the shift across your six bones and your tailbone. Our therapeutic yoga practice consists of gentle yoga, self massage, and breath awareness, supported restorative postures. some visualization as well. Let's go the other direction. And so as, as we move through our practice, being aware of how you feel and being accepting of yourself and being willing to change things. If a posture doesn't work for you, what can you do to make it a little more comfortable? Or if a movement doesn't feel good, what would be helpful? Do you need a little bit less? Do you need a little more? So having a dialogue with your experience in your body Leaving judgment behind. We'll come back to center and roll your shoulders up to your ears and back down a few times. Nice slow shoulder rolls. And we're going to take uh, the legs and extend them out in front of you. That might feel really nice right now and point and flex your toes. You can move your ankles around. We're gonna pat up and down the legs. So just patting. You can kind of wiggle your feet around as you pat. You can allow your upper body to release as far forward as you like and then come back up. And as you uh, release forward, let your chin come towards your chest a little bit more. Relaxing your upper back, your upper back broaden as you lean forward with your gentle pecking hands. Oh, 
will come back up and from your belly, maybe pat the belly a little bit. We'll recross the legs or find another way to sit that will be comfortable for you for a little bit of scalp massage. So your hands are kind of charged, but let's rub them together again. And then you'll take your 10 dragons, your fingers, and run them through your hair. And uh, just enjoy, kind of let them go where they do. I'm going to remove my glasses. And if you are also a glasses wearer, it's nice to remove these and just place them off to the side where you can find them easily. And closing your eyes and, and just feeling your fingers running across your scalp. In Chinese medicine, the body has many different meridians, channels of energy that flow through the body. And if you've ever had acupuncture before, acupressure, you're encouraging the flow of energy through those channels. I'm gonna take your thumbs and place them at the back of your skull, kind of where there are these protrusions where your skull meets your, your neck. And so just giving that area a rub with your thumbs and you can kind of bring your chin towards your chest a little and lift your head slightly, finding a little traction even for your neck. And breathing. And now we're gonna massage the face a little. You're gonna take your flats of your fingers and Smooth your forehead, smoothing any worry, any furrows from your brow. With your gentle healing hands. I'm gonna come to the temples next and um, massage your temples, let your shoulders relax and allow your eyes to be soft noticing what amount of pressure that would feel good to you here. And come down to the bridge of your nose and kind of rubbing your fingers down uh, across your cheekbones, letting your face relax and soften. So the self-massage is so good for helping to release tension from the, from the head and the sinuses, from the mind as well. Next, we're going to do a little jaw release technique. And um, so bringing your hands to your cheeks and let the flats of your fingers press into your jaw bones. I'm just gonna do one side because of my microphone. Relax your shoulders and, and as your hands press into your into your jaw, just very gently, your flats of your fingers pressing into the jaw bones and sort of melting away tension in your jaw. Let your jaw soften and relax. And your pressure is very gentle. It's maybe like a nickel's worth of pressure pressing against um, both sides of your face. Let your jaw soften, let your chin come a little towards your chest. And breathe. Now we're going to take the hands and run them down the jawline. So just down the jaw, nice and slowly. Let your jaw slack open. Coming down to your chin and then release. Let your arms come down, hands to your knees, roll your shoulders up to your ears and back down a few times to sort of wring things out. And we'll extend the legs again and this time let your legs be wider, finding a, a wider leg stance that might feel kind of nice. You can reapply your glasses if you have glasses. 
And we're gonna find a gentle lateral stretch, making our way from one side to the other. So nice and slow. Already have found a little bit of self-massage, some acupressure in the scalp, the face. Some gentle stretches of the spine with our circles and a little movement through the legs when we were patting the legs, folding forward. And now stretching your side ribs, releasing, relaxing your intercostal muscles. Breathing, finding a flowing movement that really lends itself to a relaxing. Maybe finding one more of these on each side. And return to the center. Bend your knees to bring your feet to the ground. And we're gonna set up for our first restorative posture. Where it's going to be a supported reclining pose where we're going to have the spine slightly elevated reclining and having some support for your legs as well. You can take a couple blankets and fold them up you're going to want a nice long fold with your blankets. So maybe taking two blankets and, and giving them this nice long fold. And it's important to be generous with yourself if and to sort of smooth the blankets. And this is where your spine will relax. Now, if you have a bolster, you could place the bolster along this area as well and that would be quite fine. You're going to want to take either a bed pillow or another blanket to place where your head will go. I'm gonna use my bed pillow because for many of us that can feel quite nice. And when I lie back, I want to have my sacrum right against the blankets and then release back over that height but I want my shoulders to release off of the blankets. Another way to make this quite comfortable or a little more um, relaxed is to bend, have your knees bent. And so you might take your um, bolster and you could kind of place it where your legs will go. You could roll up another blanket to place under your knees. So now you have this really fun kind of shape <laughs> that your body will uh, relax into. You want to have your blanket for covering up close by. You might even open it up. And you're going to want to have your eye pillow close by. As you're ready, begin to maybe bring your legs over the support, if that feels good to have a little support under your knees. You're going to want to have your sacrum against your blankets and then slowly lean back over the support. Adjusting your pillow or your blanket so that you have enough support under the back of your head. And if you have to adjust anything, um, you just very carefully and slowly kind of get yourself up to do so. Just my my pillow a little bit more underneath of my head because it's a pretty soft pillow. <laughs> and covering up. You want your shoulders to be releasing off of the support. If you're wearing glasses, Remove the glasses and place them off to the side where you won't roll over on them. 
And you might tilt your pelvis a little. Maybe you have to scooch your hips down a little bit to get really comfortable here. The goal is to have as much of the spine supportive as, supported as you can. And this sort of um, encourages that lumbar curve of the spine. So you have your hips on the ground and then you have that curve of the lumbar spine. You want to have your chin slightly lower than your forehead. So getting yourself nice and comfortable. And if something is uh, uncomfortable to start with, remember we become kind of like the princess and the pea. So uh, it's always better to get yourself as comfortable as possible. And this is a chest opener and an abdominal opener as your arms will relax down to your sides. Maybe first you place your eye pillow over your eyes and cover up as much as you'd like. You're going to be um, experiencing this, this gentle opening of the chest, of your shoulders, of your abdomen. And so, you're always welcome to remove a little bit of height if two blankets folded is too much and remove a, a little lower will, will less be a little less intense. And once you finally arrive and sort of wiggle around and get yourself as comfortable as possible, take a big inhale and let it go. Allow yourself to sink into this posture. Feel the support under your legs, under your arms, and under your spine and your head. Bring awareness to your breath. And as you breathe, allow your belly to expand like a balloon, taking a few deep breaths, inhaling. Your belly expands and exhaling, it relaxes and softens. as though you're pouring water into a pitcher and your inhale finds that expansion in the belly and the chest and the throat and as you exhale slowly it's as though you're pouring water from that pitcher the throat the chest and the belly emptying out. Nice slow deep breaths. These deep breaths help to calm the nervous system. And encourage the rest and relax response. Now 
Now allow your breath to be natural, to be unconditioned. Letting it do whatever it wants to do. Still aware, but not trying to change anything. Each exhalation encourages a little more relaxation and softening into the support beneath you. The supported posture encourages a long duration slow release of deeply held tension in your muscles. And all of the tissue of your body. There's a chest opener working to help us to release some of that forward constriction that we find ourselves in often. Resting and breathing. And allowing that slow release relaxation often comes in waves those waves of relaxation as your hands and feet soften as your hips and your shoulders release
and to deepen your breath. And find a sigh. Make small movements with your fingers and your toes. Your wrists and ankles. And we're going to very slowly transition to our side. And as you do this, I ask that you keep your eyes closed if you can. It's very surprising how the light really affects you after you've had an eye pillow on. You're slowly going to bend your knees and roll off of the height. Being very gentle with yourself and bring your pillow or that blanket from under your head with you to allow your head to rest on a pillow or on a little height. Your eye pillow can be removed, but again, keep your eyes closed if you can. Roll onto your side. And this is a side lying pose. And it's a place that we find ourselves often in a yoga class when we're you know, coming out of Shavasana. But see if you're able to maybe place a blanket between your knees or a pillow if you have one, or maybe um, a bolster, whatever you have. Just place a little support between your knees, your shins, and your ankles. Keeping yourself covered up. This is a wonderful place to just stay covered. You can have your blanket, especially covering your, your kidney area. Moving into the season of winter, it's a, a time of the kidneys. The season of the water elements. And it's very important that we get enough rest help to nourish our kidneys, drink hot, hot liquids, maybe some nice hot herbal tea, and to keep our kidneys nice and warm. Resting here for a few more moments, just allowing yourself to breathe. Feeling that expansion and relaxation of your breath. And crossing your arms, let your fingertips touch your shoulders. And we're going to butterfly pat alternate shoulders. So just letting your hands pat your shoulders gently. This is a very soothing movement. Our gentle tapping on the shoulders encourages also that release of deeply stored tension from the body, from the mind, just your whole being. Enjoying these butterfly taps and feeling nice and secure lying on your side. Offering yourself gratitude as you tap your shoulders. Offering yourself kindness and peace.
And take a big inhale and sigh it out. <sighs> and very slowly make your way up to a seat. Let your head stay heavy as you do. Reapplying your glasses. If you're like me and you can't see anything without them. <laughs> We're going to come into a tabletop next. We're also going to get ourselves set up for our next posture. So put your blanket off to the side. You have a couch cushion. You can also place that off to the side. I have a handy dandy wall to lean mine up on. I'm going to take one of your blankets and place it under your knees for a tabletop. And then you can take your other two blankets that you might have used for that, um, uh, that, that posture that we found before, and we're going to um, roll them up. You could use a bolster if you have a bolster. Uh, we're gonna roll them into like a big sushi roll. So I'm gonna take my two blankets together. Uh, just sort of roll them up. And you can place that up towards the top of your mat. So we'll get there in a little bit. But first, come into tabletop. And find a few movements there. Let your knees come underneath of your shoulders and your wrists under, <laughs> knees underneath of your hips and wrists underneath of your shoulders. And then make a few movements that just feel good to you. Maybe shifting your hips from side to side. Of encouraging your fingers to sink into the earth evenly. And we'll find some cats and cows. Let your tailbone lift and the rest of your spine follows suit. And then your tailbone draws down and the rest of your spine follows suit, finding that nice movement of your spine. Opening up your chest. And then rounding forward. And see if your movement and your breath want to flow along together. Feeling that nice stretch on your front body. And that nice stretch on your back body. And we'll come back to center. Go ahead and sit side saddle. And what we're going to be doing is laying over this bolster or folded up blanket. Um, you may want to have a pillow close by if you feel like your head would, would like a little extra support. You can have that close by. And having this other blanket on the ground can be nice for your hip. You might want a little extra cushion there under your hip. And so sitting side saddle, it doesn't matter which side you start with, just the side that you can see me. What we're going to do is end up uh, lifting up the ribs and leaning over this bolster. So your feet, you can either have your feet sort of um, one knee in the crook of the other or in the sole of the other foot. Um, maybe you're going to end up extending your legs long or you want to keep your knees together. Let's go ahead and sort of lifting up your ribs, begin to lean over that support and uh, you can, you could extend your lower arm up overhead, kind of up behind you. And maybe you have, um, maybe you have a pillow there, or perhaps it feels comfortable for you to just let your head rest on that arm. Now uh, you might have this uh, leg configuration where your upper leg is stretched out a little bit more, or maybe it feels better to have your knees together. So kind of play around with that a little bit. 
If you extend your legs long, you might even scissor your legs so that your upper leg is kind of out in front slightly and your bottom leg is behind slightly. Once you get yourself as comfortable as you can be here, we're gonna make some circles with the arm. So first bring your fingertips to your shoulder and then to make these circles. We're finding an opening through the side ribs, encouraging some release in the diaphragm. If it feels good to you, you might extend your arm long and draw these sort of circles. This movement is sometimes called a resting half moon. Finding some circles there. And let your circles go the other direction. And allow your arm to come overhead and maybe your palms of your hands come together. Be sure that you feel supported in your head and your neck. Maybe that means that you want to bend your lower arm or perhaps your upper arm doesn't feel very comfortable reaching overhead and, and then you could definitely keep it it down keeping your hand sort of on the on the ground so play around there we won't hold this position as long as we held our our first position but it's still important to find um as much relaxation in the posture as possible yeah and cover up if that feels it's it nice be so nice to feel all nice and cozy Just allow yourself to breathe and removing glasses can be quite helpful. <laughs> You're allowing this slow release as you sink into your support. into your side ribs. Envisioning the space between each rib opening gently. Encouraging release in your diaphragm where it's connected to the ribs. So that you can take deeper, fuller breaths. Those deep, full breaths help to massage your lungs and your heart. And they massage your abdominal contents as well. Encouraging the flow of blood and lymph. The balancing of our endocrine system. A sense of relaxation and peace.
deepen your breath. And bring your upper hand down in front of you and slowly roll forward. Bring yourself back up to tabletop. And then tabletop, extend your right leg behind you and press through your heel. Then walk your right foot over to the left side of your mat and look over your left shoulder, creating this C shape in your left side and stretching your right socket. And breathing. We'll come back to center. And bring your right knee underneath of you and then switch sides. Let your left leg extend long behind you. Press through your heel. Walk your left foot over towards the right and look over your right shoulder. Getting that squeeze in your right side and that stretch in your left. And come back to center. And we're going to find the other side. So kind of rearranging yourself. You know what to expect a little bit more now. And so maybe even re Kind of rolling your uh, your rolled up blankets or uh, fluffing your uh, bolster a little bit, sitting side saddle, and then as you kind of extend your lower arm, kind of lifting your ribs and lowering them down over your bolster to get that uh, nice expansion you now on the other side. And you can extend your legs how you would like, maybe keeping the knees bent or, or finding some, some way that is comfortable and maybe even offers an added stretch in your hip. You can have some support under your head or maybe you just feel quite comfortable with that bottom arm extended. And bring your fingertips to your shoulder, finding some nice circles with your elbow first. And then as it feels good, maybe you extend your arm long and find those nice big circles. Going one direction and then the other direction. I'm tracing the moon. And allow your upper arm to come overhead and maybe even the palms of the hands come together and you find that, that resting half moon posture on this side, getting yourself nice and comfortable and covered up and, and breathing into that, that side of the ribs. Allow your eyes to soften. Notice your breath. Just breathe and relax.
There's also this benefit to the side that you're resting on, that sort of squeeze into the organs on that side of the body. The gentle lateral stretch of the spine. Opening your intercostal muscles, they sort of fan open. The more we're able to relax, the easier our energy can flow through our bodies. In this practice of conscious relaxation and these restorative postures have a different effect on the body than uh, even when we're sleeping, which sleep is of course quite important. But it's different than if we're sitting down and you know, watching TV or, or doing some other task where we feel like we're resting, but our, our bodies aren't having that benefit of us listening to them quite as much and feeling the breath move. Find a gentle smile, smiling into your body, into your being. going to make our way out of this posture let your hand your upper hand come under your shoulder and roll yourself forward up, and back into a tabletop and from tabletop finding a child's pose maybe bringing your big toes together to touch and sinking your hips down. You could even keep that kind of bolster under your arms and maybe even allow your forehead to rest on that bolster. Quite all right if your hips are a little higher. Just see if you can kind of sink your forehead downwards and Maybe even rock a little bit on your forehead. Feel your low back expanding. And then slowly make your way back to tabletop. And we're going to come to a seat with the legs outstretched in front. So we're scooching your items out of the way. 
you might keep a blanket um, on your on your mat if that feels good to you having a little extra softness under your spine for when we do um, come into another restorative posture in a little bit on your back but for now of extending your legs long you might take one of your blankets and re-roll it up placing it underneath of your knees and another blanket you could fold it up a little bit and sit on that blanket to give your hips a little bit of height so that we can find a more restorative forward fold here. Having a little height under your hips that gives you sort of a tilt of the pelvis. It allows you to begin with a nice tall spine. Then reach your arms up overhead. A nice length through your fingers. And Anchor your heels into the ground and then begin to hinge forward and relax over your leg. And this is a great place to also incorporate a, a bolster, a pillow, maybe underneath of your, your belly if that feels good. You can come and drape yourself over that. Just play around a little bit with whatever items you have, maybe a lengthwise bolster. You have, um, if you have a bolster, having it lengthwise over your legs can really allow you to relax your head forward. Or maybe your pillow can, can do the trick. So I encourage you to just find a way to come into this, this forward fold where you're able to Really relax, and again, that could be with your hands stacked under your forehead, or maybe with your arms down to your side. Maybe you don't want anything underneath of your chest. That's totally fine as well. Just allowing yourself to breathe and stretching this line of fascia, connective tissue that runs from the bottoms of each foot all the way up the back of your leg and along your back body to the crown of your head. So if you can really just let your shoulders relax forward, let your chin come towards your chest. Forward folds are restorative. They're just good for the nervous system in general for calming things down. And for that stretch along the back body, we're also stretching the urinary bladder meridian, so encouraging the health and well being of that organ. Encouraging a stretching out of our low back, especially around the, the kidneys, the adrenal glands. And then we'll slowly come back up to a tall spine. Let your head float up and bring your feet to the ground. Move the blanket out from under you, placing it off to the side, and you can stay on a little bit of height if you'd like. You might even bring uh, the blanket behind you to place your hands on. Let your feet be about mat width distance. We're going to find this external and internal rotation of each leg. Nice and slow, just allowing your leg to fall in and back out. Maybe your leg and your breath, your 
movement and your breath go along together. Wonderful for hip mobility. For creating a little more space in the pelvis as well. And releasing tension from the low back. Simple things can do so much. We'll find the other leg, just letting it fall in and back out. Maybe you notice the difference differences across each leg. And just offering yourself kindness and compassion. We hold an awful lot of tension in our hips and in our pelvis. Many issues with the pelvic floor come from excess stress and really tension in that area um, and finding the movements like this and then being a conscious relaxation and allowing the breath to expand into the low belly those are all ways to help um, help the pelvis and that whole area just relax and soften a little bit And from there we can strengthen as well. Now let both knees come up and now both knees fall to one side and the hip lift come through center and let your knees fall to the other side and the hip lifts so you get a little bit of a twist there as well. back to center. Now we're going to start setting things up to come down to the back. You have your couch cushion. You could bring that close by or a bolster. This is where the legs are going to go, but we're going to make like a really nice ramp for your legs. So taking one of your blankets and rolling it up. And again, this could work on a bolster too. I'll show it with my bolster also but just rolling that blanket up and then taking your bed pillow and kind of creating a ramp so that your knees can rest on the on the higher part and your a lower leg can relax down can really sink down and maybe even have a, a space where your your heels can rest on your couch cushion uh, with a bolster you can do something very similar kind of take your your bolster and give it just a little extra height with that rolled up blanket and then create a ramp with your pillow from there so a couple different ways that you can that you can do that I'm going to use my couch cushion because I've really enjoyed that one we're not gonna have anything underneath of, uh, of the spine, aside from maybe that extra softness of a blanket. And you're definitely gonna wanna have a little extra support for your head. I'm gonna take um, just a folded blanket and, um, and I'll show you a cervical roll that you can do as well for that folded blanket, where you take the bottom of the blanket and just roll it up a little bit so that your neck can relax and the back of your head seems to have a little more support that way. So that can be something you might like. I'm gonna grab your blankets to cover up with so you have that close by. You're also gonna wanna have your eye pillow close by and essential oil close by. So you're getting yourself all nice and set up. 
Before we come into relaxation, we're going to find a reclined twist. So first, get yourself set up, sort of see, taste test your, uh, your ramp with your, with your legs. We'll see if you can relax back and maybe have that, that rolled up blanket at the, the neck, if that feels good to you. Just, just get yourself to a place where you're going to feel nice and cozy. And then once you feel like you've established that, you can take both knees and bring them uh, in towards your chest and give them a hug. You know, rock a little from side to side. That's just such a, a very calming movement, just rocking, the sacral rocking, rocking across your sacrum. Maybe letting your head rock the opposite direction as your knees. And then taking your feet, place them on your setup. So your feet are a little elevated. Let them be a little further away from each other and bring both hands to your abdomen. This is a place where you could definitely cover up first if you'd like, and then let both knees fall over to the right and let your hands just drift over to your left ribs. Your shoulders soften and relax. It's a very, very gentle twist, but probably a little bit of a stretch there in your outer hip. Any other twist would be fine as well, but if your hands can just rest on your abdomen, on the left side of your abdomen, and, and then even just move them around a little, sort of massage that area. The stomach and the spleen reside on the left upper quadrant of your abdomen. And the pancreas as well, sort of a little bit more towards midline, sort of that solar plexus area. So allow your hands to move from maybe the center line of your abdomen over towards the left, just giving that whole upper quadrant a little massage. Allow the, the fingers to be flat so they don't dig in, but they're just very gentle. Gently massaging this, this whole quadrant and your hands can go wherever they'd like. If they'd like to go a little lower down um, towards the pelvis, that's fine as well. Then getting into the, the large intestine some. But we rarely think about our internal organs unless something's going wrong or seems off. And so here you're just massaging this area. You're offering love and kindness to your organ. And you're breathing, finding a few nice deep breaths, allowing yourself to feel whatever you feel, however you do, and holding space for that. In Chinese medicine, uh, said that we hold a, a lot of tension in the organs and that that long held tension can cause problems down the road. And so you're just uh, allowing the processing of emotional charges that might be held in the organs from a place of kindness, from a place of love. Just warming them, simply uh, making contact with your hands over that area encourages the release of the connective tissue. And now we'll bring the knees back to center and let them fall over towards the left as your hands drift towards your right side, that sort of right upper quadrant of the abdomen where the low ribs are the liver and the gallbladder, 
even if your gallbladder has been removed, we uh, have an energetic gallbladder. Encouraging the release of frustration and anger. Just massaging, very gentle, being intuitive, knowing that you know you have this inner knowing. Offering gratitude to your organ. Encouraging the processing of, of held emotions that might be stored there. You might feel stomach gurgles, any stomach sounds. That's always a good, a good sign as well. Just that stuff's moving around, that you're relaxing. Our relaxation response is also called rest and digest. And that's digestion, not only of foodstuffs, but of, of how we feel. I'll take a deep breath and let it go. And bring your knees and back to center and give yourself a big hug. Rock a little again and then I'll be sure to cover up as you extend your legs over that support for our final relaxation, for our final supported relaxation pose. Legs extend, get yourself nice and comfy. You might even take your hips and sort of tilt them, pressing your buttocks down. That can release some pressure from your low back to take your eye pillow and just place it maybe on your upper leg so you know where it is get your aromatherapy and if you have glasses take them off and just place them off to the side where you won't roll over on them and take your aromatherapy put a little bit in your hand and rub your palms together get them nice and charred And then take your hands and cup them over your nose and take a few nice, slow, deep. And allow that aromatherapy to just help to relax your nervous system. Our sense of smell is so important. We can really elicit many emotions through our sense of smell and eliciting a sense of peace and ease with that scent you chose. And you can take that uh, your hands and that aromatherapy and, and then anoint anywhere you'd, you'd like to, maybe in the upper chest region and massage a little underneath of your collarbones, your sternum over your heart. Or maybe you return to the abdomen a little. Whatever feels good, shoulders, Uh, now taking your eye pillow and placing it over your eyes, making any final adjustments that you need to be as comfortable as possible. Covering up. Rocking your shoulders a little, and maybe rocking your hips a little. And then let yourself be heavy. Take a deep breath in and 
inside out, a cleansing breath. What wonderful work you're doing. Holding space for yourself. And allowing yourself to rest and to soften. It's also fine for the hands to rest on or the abdomen or wherever they feel comfortable. Notice your breath. Feel the wave of the inhalation and the exhalation. And as you breathe, there's this beautiful healing light from the center of your navel And it expands with each inhale encouraging the release of tension with each exhale feel the wave of your breath move through your body Visualize that beautiful healing light from the center expanding. Bringing with it love and kindness. Beautiful healing light. Peace and compassion. Moving with your breath touching each organ, each tissue, each cell. Your breath and your body are relaxed and soft. heavy and supported. And you allow that light in your breath to flow with ease. light shines through your abdomen, through your chest and your pelvis, expanding through your shoulders and your hips, from the base of your spine all the way up to the crown of your head. Dispelling tension, encouraging a softening. This healing light moves through your arms, into your hands and fingers, to your legs, your feet, your toes. through your neck, through your face, and deep within you. Back 
acting as a solvent along with the breath create space and release tension. light in your breath expand into any areas that feel tight or constricted. They expand into any thought that needs to be released. stuck emotion and encourage the flow and transformation. You're safe to allow that transformation to take place. It happens naturally as you rest. Begin to deepen your breath. And make small movements with your fingers and your toes. And your wrists and ankles. Give yourself a full body stretch. Good. Maybe a yawn or a sigh. And keeping your eyes closed as you slowly roll over to your sides, bending your knees, maybe. And pressing your bolster set up away a little and making your way to your side. Letting your eye pillow gently release.
And then we'll very slowly roll up to a seat. Keeping your blanket on. Replacing a little height under your bum. Rocking from side to side. And front to back. Find a tall spine and let one hand rest on your belly, the other rest over your heart. Finding a gentle smile, smiling into your being and knowing that the more you take care of yourself and love yourself, the more that love extends into the world around you. Offer yourself kindness and compassion, peace and love, and gratitude for taking this time for yourself. Namaste, friends. Thank you so much for your practice today. And I hope that you're able to just enjoy a nice relaxing rest of your day or whatever you do, that you're able to find some peace within it. <laughs> 